so dear students today i am going to explain the bs2 unit 5 poisson distribution so i have already uploaded the binomial distribution videos in my youtube channel anno computer education so i have already uploaded the all the subjects important questions in my youtube channel so please uh, like those videos and please share these videos to your friends so these videos will be very very helpful for everyone so today just i am going to the concept of poisson distribution so i am going to explain the very very important questions so please uh, focus on the concept so you can expect one question from this uh, in final exam for 12 marks okay without wasting further time so directly we are entering into the question so now here so now poisson distribution so i am writing the question so please uh, try to understand the question just wait a minute i'm taking the pen option so the pen is not working okay now right now the pen i connected my pen so please concentrate on the concept so it is very very important question you can expect this question in uh, this time in exam for 12 marks so this is a model one problem okay so in poisson distribution we are going to discuss the model one which uh, we are discussing unit 5 okay in by bs2 so in the next uh, will be unit 4 probability complete videos will be uploaded so please uh, subscribe channel so unit 5 we are discussing poisson distribution okay poisson distribution so this is a model one problem so one more model problem i'll explain after this video so this in this video just model one problem i'm going to explain the question will be like this so what is asking in the question fit a poisson fit a poisson distribution fit a poisson distribution okay to the following data to the following okay data so this is important thing you need to remember so the data is given like this x and frequencies are given so the values are 0 1 2 3 4 so the frequencies are 123 and uh, the question is 59 and the next question is 14 and 3 1 so this is a question which is given to you okay so what we can do now we have to fit a poisson distribution now so this is a question which is given for you so please uh, focus on the question so once so already in the table is given minus e value is given so 0.6065 so this value is also given in the question so after reading the question so you need to understand these are the experiment so zero time success one time success two time success three time success four time success total he did the experiment for how many times 200 times so if you count if you count this you will get 200 okay so it means now we are going to find so first you write we know that we know that okay so so otherwise what you do right so right uh, we know that you write uh, poisson distribution we know that poisson distribution okay poisson distribution poisson distribution is so what is the formula for poisson distribution p of x equal to x is equal to e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial so remember so in some books in place of lambda you may get m also we don't be get get lambda or m both are same so if you are getting doubt i'll make the formula like this e power minus m or uh, m power x by x factor so the, those are notations only so both are same okay so now uh, what is lambda what is lambda lambda means nothing but mean so you know already in you know, in poisson distribution mean of a poisson distribution is lambda and mean and variance of poisson distribution is lambda so because in order to calculate the expect so in given question the frequencies are given na these frequencies called as observed observed frequencies so what we have to do we have to calculate the expected frequencies okay so first i need to find so in order to calculate so i need what lambda value so this is given in the already problem so first what is the mean value of lambda i need to find so to find the lambda value you use the concept of f into x 
so what are the values which are given in the problem 0 1 2 3 4 okay so frequencies are 123 and 59 and 14 and 3 and 1 so what are the question which so as per the you in before semester you learned the concept of bs1 you remember not in BS1, you did the mean for problem. So this is which type of problem? Discrete series. X values are given and frequencies are given. So how to find mean? You know in BS1 concept this is mean is equal to x bar is equal to summation fx by n. So got clarity now? So if you do the total of n, you will get uh, like 123, 59, uh, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200 you will get. Okay. So you multiply f into x now. f into x because I need to calculate the mean. So 123 to 0, 0 and 59 to 1, 59 and 14 to 28 and next one is 33 to 9 and 4 to 1 4. So do the total of fx now. Do the total of fx 59, 60, 70, 80, 90, 96, 90, 100. So if you do the total, you will get 100 now. So now mean is equal to x bar is equal to 100 by 200, 100 by 200. It is nothing but 0. 5. So 1 by 2 you will get 100 1 100 2 1 by 2 means 0 0.5. So you know in as per the BS1 uh, okay x bar is nothing but mean as per uh, Poisson distribution mean is nothing but lambda. So it means can I write lambda is equal to 0 0.5 now 0 0.5. So this is a mean of Poisson distribution. So I calculate the mean. So now just go to the next concept. So what we have to do now what we have to do now we have to find out the expected frequencies so expected expected frequencies we are calculating what Expe expected frequencies okay so how to calculate expected frequency e of x is equal to capital n into e power minus m okay m power or lambda or m both are same m power x by x factorial so First, what we have to do? First, if x equal to 0, why I am taking x equal to 0 in the given problem, x values are starts from 0 till 4. So, that is the reason. First, in place of x, you replace 1 now. So, just what I am doing, I am taking the pen option. So, then, what is the value of expected frequency? In place of x, then you write here e of 0, e of 0 is equal to n. Capital N is nothing but total of the frequency. Total of the frequency is 200 into e power m just now we calculated mean of binomial distribution is Poisson distribution is 0.5 so in place of m you need to write 0.5 so m means 0.5 x means what 0 na so 0 point power 0 0 0.5 power 0 and x value is nothing but 0 na 0 factorial you write so now it means 200 into 200 into uh, e power minus 0 0.65 in the given table is given a value this is 0 0.6065 so remember in the given question is given the value of e power minus m so just I'm showing here just to notice this value so this one so in the given question is given e power minus m minus m is nothing but 0 0.5 that value is already given so the same thing I have written here so wherever you are getting in e to the power of uh, minus 0 0.5 every time you have read okay so every time you have to write uh, 200 into 0 0.65 okay um, next any number power 0 any number power 0 in mathematics you know 1 okay and divided by in 0 factorial means 1 okay so 0 factorial is a 1 and any number a to the power of 0 is always 1 any number for these are the formulas which I used in this concept okay so I think this is clear so now simplify this so just I'm using the calculator so what I will do here in the calculator 200 into 200 into 0 0.60 uh, 0065 if I do the multiplication I'm getting 121.3 so clear now so next if x equal to 1 then again you've calculated one more value e of e of 1 is equal to 200 into e power minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 power 1 divided by 1 factorial it means 200 into 0 point e power minus 0 0.5 value is 0 0.6065 into any uh, any number power 1 the number itself 0 0.5 power 1 is nothing but 0 0.5 only 
and one factorial answer is of one only. So one factorial is always one. So these are the things you need to remember. So now you multiply. So you multiply this value. Uh, so into zero point five. So you will get answer sixty point six five. Okay. Just I multiply these values. Next, uh, if x equal to one, sorry two. We have to take x equal to two. Then we have to do the same process. Okay. So you write a of two uh, is equal to two hundred into okay e to the power of minus zero point five into zero point five power two. Zero point five power two into two factorial. So two factorial means what? Two in two factorial is nothing but two into one. Two one ja two. So you'll get two. So now write it two hundred into zero point six zero six five. Into zero point five into zero point five zero point five into zero point five, so you'll get zero point two five. So you got a clarity now zero point two five. So zero point five whole square now zero point five into zero point five you have to do. So two two factorial means two. So multiply all these values now two hundred into zero point six zero six five into zero point two five. Okay. So divided by you do two. So you'll get answer. You'll get answer fifteen point one six. Okay. So next, similarly, you calculate the value of. Okay. Similarly, you calculate the value of e power. Okay. Suppose if x equal to three, then expected frequency of x e of three is nothing but two hundred into e power minus zero point five and zero point five power three. Okay, by three factorial. So you know three factorial means what? Three into two into one. So it is nothing but three two ja six six one ja six. So six. So now you write it here. Two uh, hundred into zero point six zero six five into. So you multiply zero point five into zero point five into zero point five. So you get zero point. Okay, one two five. So 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5. Three times you multiply. But three cube means like you know. So three factorial means six. So multiply all these values into, okay, 0.6065 into 200. Okay, and uh, divided by, divided by six, divided by six. If I do, I'll get 2.2.527. Okay. So similarly, if X equal to four. Then, if x equal to four, then e of okay four is equal to two hundred into e of minus zero point five into zero point five power four divided by four factorial. So four factorial means what? Four into three into two into one is equal to sixteen. So we write it here two hundred into 0.6065 into and 0.5 into 0.5 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 into 0.5 four times you have to multiply so you are getting 0.0625 and divided by four factorial means what 16 uh, uh, four uh, four the uh, sorry 24 you get because four three is a 12 12 two is a 24 24 one is a 24 okay now write it 24. So now multiply it into two uh, hundred into zero point six zero six five into okay zero point zero six two five. So divided by divided by you do twenty four. So you'll get zero point zero point three one. So I'm getting here zero point three one. So I think over. So why? Because in given problem, x value starts starts from zero to four only. So we have to take up to four only. Okay. So once you did, you have done this process, you have to count it. So as a, please, यहाँ पे आप लोग careful से करना. So क्या करना मालूम है? आप pencil pencil से यहाँ पे एक बार round up करो. Just यहाँ पे one twenty three one just pencil से लो. एक बार check करने के बाद final answer बाद में लिखो. तो क्या लिखना है यहाँ पे one twenty three point three है. One twenty one point three है ना? तो जस्ट अप्रोक्सिमेटली जस्ट आप लिखो 121 जस्ट पेंसिल से साइड में लिख लो 
ये 60.65 पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव बोलते ऑलमोस्ट ये 61 लिख सकते हैं ना जस्ट राउंड अप कर रहा हूँ मैं राउंड अप कर रहा हूँ वैल्यूज को राउंड अप कर रहा हूँ नेक्स्ट क्या है फिफ्टीन तो थोड़ा ही फिफ्टीन से थोड़ा बढ़ के तो फिफ्टीन ही ले सकते हैं इसको जस्ट एक बार ले लो ओके एक बार लेने का नेक्स्ट क्या है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में क्या है सॉरी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में क्या है यहाँ पे नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आई एम टेकिंग द पेन ईयर ना वॉट यू आर गेटिंग ईयर टू पॉइंट फाइव मिनट्स आज्यूम करो थ्री टू पॉइंट फाइव थोड़ा क्रॉस हो गया बोल के थ्री ये जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट फाइव भी क्रॉस नहीं हुआ तो मैं ये इसको जीरो ही लेता हूँ तो क्या करना वॉट एवर जस्ट राउंड अप करना जस्ट टोटल एड करो टोटल एड करो तो आप हंड्रेड परसेंट कितना आना फ्रीक्वेंसी फ्रीक्वेंसी है ना कितना आना फ्रीक्वेंसी टू हंड्रेड आना द सेम थिंग आया नहीं आया चेक करो सपोज मैं कैलकुलेटर से फर्स्ट देखो ये आंसर थ्री प्लस तो पीछे पिछले साइड में आ जाओ फिफ्टीन प्लस सिक्सटी वन प्लस हाँ इतना वन ट्वेंटी वन सो परफेक्ट टू हंड्रेड आया अगर टू हंड्रेड नहीं आया एक एक कम आ रहा तो अब यहाँ पे मैं वन ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट थ्री लेना इसको वन ट्वेंटी टू कर दो ऐसा थोड़ा करेक्शन करके अपन टोटल पूरा ये एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंस का टोटल भी जो क्वेश्चन में दिया ना यहाँ पे सो ये इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ऑब्जर्व करो क्वेश्चन में सॉरी सो एल बी टेकिंग सो आई बी शोइंग सो क्वेश्चन में दिए देखो फ्रीक्वेंसी का टोटल कितना 200 तो अपन एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसी जो भी कर रहे हैं वो एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसी का टोटल भी 200 ही आना तो आप पेंसिल से राउंड अप कर लो पहले 121 अगर एक भी काम आए तो क्या करो ये 121.3 है ना इसको 122 कर दो ऐसे एडजस्टमेंट करके तो आप टू हंड्रेड जैसा टोटल करें वंस यू गेट दिस टोटल टू आने के बाद आप क्या करो फाइनली आंसर होने के बाद आप ऐसे लिखना देर फोर यहाँ पे लिखना देर फोर द थियोरिटिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फाइजम फाइनामल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लिख सकते नहीं तो देर फोर द एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसी बोल के लिख सकते देर फोर देर फोर द एक्सपेक्टेड एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर फ्रीक्वेंसीज आर बोल के लिख के सो वैल्यूज क्या है जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर तो आप उनको फर्स्ट वैल्यू क्या है फ्रीक्वेंसीज फर्स्ट वाला वन ट्वेंटी वन आया सेकेंड वाला सिक्सटी वन आया एंड थर्ड वाला फिफ्टीन आया ओके थर्ड वाला फिफ्टीन आया फोर्थ वाला यहाँ इच्छे ना थ्री ये थ्री आया एंड फिफ्थ वाला ये या फोर का वैल्यू अपन को जीरो आया सो दिस इज अ फाइनल आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन सो लाइक लास्ट में कैसा बॉक्स डाल के आप कंक्लूशन कर देना सो दिस इज व्हाट द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दिस क्वेश्चन इन योर फाइनल एग्जाम फॉर ट्वेल्व मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द यूनिट फाइव बायनामल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन so please uh, in the next videos will be unit 4 complete concept no one will explain unit 4 probability so in the next videos will be probability video the complete uh, probability concept i am going to explain so please subscribe my channel anu computer education to get further updates